Well, uh, good morning, my lovelies. Right, after last night, <laughs> um, we all decided that we uh, we basically had enough and we're heading home. I just had a beautiful breakfast, by the way. It's Saturday. We found this uh, nice little village called Tonstad. Tonstad. And, um, yeah, great baguette there. Oh, it's lovely. And a cup of coffee. I hate tunnels on scooters. Oh, it's really cold in here. I kid you not. I think I've got my uh, main beam on. Oh, I can't find it. <laughs> I should have uh, written, written up instruments or something. Oh shit. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I have my main beam on. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I was going to say, I have to sort of concentrate because uh, because we're on our way home, the boys are not hanging around. So I've stuck myself in the uh, tail end Charlie position and I'm just going to cruise by myself, sort of, if you get what I mean. I'll, I'll keep an eye on them, but I'm not, I'm not going to cane it. It's, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think those Vespa PXs have got, uh, got brakes. <laughs> I'm sort of not not quite in the uh, the mood of things today. That's why I've stuck myself uh, back here. I'm not I, I'm not feeling it. If you get what I mean. I'm not. I don't feel that the uh, the scooter is uh, flowing. It's obviously all psychological. So we decided to try, uh, ride home. So we're doing that now. It's about 200 and something or other kilometers. I hope you don't go this speed all the time. Would be nice if it didn't, but oh my golly! Those tunnels are really, really cold. And they're not short ones either. Uh, if you look, you can see my speed over there. Uh, what happened there was uh, on the bumpy road yesterday, my um, sip speedo drive has sort of turned on itself and gone into the disc and uh, broken it's broken lad so I haven't I don't know how fast I'm going or anything but I, I can feel it we're doing about um, a steady uh, 90 kilometers an hour can I say look at that view look at that view so what I thought I'd do instead of uh, being sporadic I was actually thinking of doing like uh, a 10 minute vlog type thing, thing while I'm stuck behind these uh, lads. But I'm not sure. Maybe I should... Uh, we've got some really nice roads to come today as well. Uh, and I suppose you're not really watching the video for my... Uh, for my babble. I'm telling you the truth. It's quite hard to babble on, on the twisty roads. Someone's got starting problems and he's not admitting it. <laughs> right, so we uh, we got a plan of attack. We're about halfway now. Had a wee wee and rest my bum a little bit. Uh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> and a drink, some coke, coke and a smile. 
But uh, yeah, so this is where I sort of uh, bottle out a bit, I suppose. Yeah, ah, not really. I think we've got about 120 kilometres left. And I'm not sure where we're going to fill petrol. But I reckon the boys in front here have got uh, control of that. Funny, funny thing being, um, because I haven't been completely keen in it, last time we uh, last time we filled the petrol, I filled less than both the PXs or the PX engines and the Miguel. They all filled uh, five. The Miguel all filled six, but that's going really rich. And uh, I filled uh, four, which is pretty cool. So I don't quite understand. There's a lot of people say that the uh, that the uh, RT can be a bit of a gas guzzler, but uh, this one I've got with read on, it's not really uh, sort of proving the opposite. I think this is where uh, those uh, nasty hairpin corners uh, turn up. There we go, here's one of them. Look at that, beautiful valley. This valley is called the uh, Kvindestal, the woman's valley. <laughs> Maybe you get a pair of free boobs. I've got a motorbike behind me somewhere, there he is. I hate that when they ride on your bum. And uh, he's uh, obviously probably a lot faster than me. Even I'm faster than me today. We have had no shortage of corners today. <laughs> we sort of snailed up over this valley and we're snailing down or down the valley again and it's not it's not like your usual not proper serpentine corners but they are uh, twisty enough and then I know suddenly we get one that's uh, that 90 degree corner I forgot to ask the boys where that was so I'm gonna have to be worried about that Oi. I'm gonna be worried about that for the next half an hour, I suppose. <laughs> I really try not to stress, do not stress, Rob. Um, suffice to say, when I met up with the boys, they'd only been wait waiting about half a minute. So they're not, they're not riding that fast, really. It's just that, um, it's just slightly out of my uh, comfort zone. And I suspect going a little bit faster in these uh, small sections of uh, 60 zone. I think so. I mean, I can't tell. I'm going one kilometre an hour at the moment because of my busted speedo drive. Right. We just uh, tanked the scooters up. Uh, I only got two litres in mine. I didn't ask what they got. But, uh, we sort of had to fill there because um, we haven't really got any petrol stations there. Not really, we just haven't got any petrol stations uh, until we get nearer to uh, to home. And uh, running out of petrol on the mountains, uh, not really, uh, not really clever. I'm not sure I want to get past there, I can't see what I'm doing here. Swain just took a bit of a chance there, that's for sure. Ooh, ah, definitely not enough room for us there. Right, on the really, really twisty roads we did yesterday, they, uh, the cars, after a while they understand that it doesn't matter how many horsepower they've got, like the Teslas, they're not going to be driving fast because 
we have to wait for the other cars in the oncoming direction I think we're stressing that uh, van a little bit it's not going fast, what's he doing? about 50 kilometers an hour we should, if we get a straight stretch, should be able to get back ok, he's gone <laughs> mm. Not often you pray for a straight road, but right now it would be nice. And if we now we've got a big uh, curly, 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 nice one. He's let us fast. Woohoo! Freedom! <laughs> This kind of road I love. And as long as I've got a man in front of me, I've got to see the curvature of the... The curvature of the curve a little bit better. I'm feeling a little bit better now, actually. I have to say, I am totally in love with the... Uh, BJMRT kit. It does a great job of uh, a fast touring, and it's it's just enough uh, fun to not get bored of it. Whereas uh, TS1 and my uh, old SS240, uh, it, yeah, it was fun, but it was uh, it's just a bit of a handful. You had to, really had to be in that power band, that short power range all the time to uh, to get it moving whereas this one it doesn't matter if you go really low down into the revs it just picks up uh, picks up nicely I thought I uh, dropped it down into a false neutral As I've done that a couple of times on this uh, MB 5 speed box it's just so smooth it's just so smooth that uh, oi. <laughs> that wasn't a double then it's just so smooth the MB5 gearbox that it doesn't have the same sort of click when you get into the gears but the MB5 speed gearbox doesn't have that whir, that Vespa whir that the uh, Cyclone 5 does anyway I digress I could sit here and babble all day. Sleeping policeman. Right, well, I've got myself stuck behind the Sunday driver on a Saturday. The outrage. But uh, the reason why I turn the camera on now is because I'm only about 40 uh, kilometers away from home. Uh, I'm lying. About 50. And uh, I just want to say thanks a lot for watching uh, my videos. I hope you enjoyed this uh, touring version and not the garage version. Usually, I don't get that many uh, that many uh, views on the on the out touring stuff. I think most people are stuck in their garage, uh, screwing, <laughs> screwing around. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I've got another tour coming up, like I said, National Rally, if we're really, really lucky and we don't end up with uh, another lockdown, and yeah, I'll uh, love you and leave you, don't forget, like and subscribe, if you want to support the channel, helps me out with memory cards, uh, microphones, stuff like that, then uh, you can support the channel by uh, buying me uh, buying me here, buying me a coffee, or you can grab yourself some merch. Got some nice quality T-shirts there on the Teespring, and I love you and leave you, and see you all in the next one. Ta-ra! I'm back again. <laughs> Actually, I think I found what uh, lost my mojo. Um, now you know that SAUK uh, baggage, luggage rack thing? 
I've got. Well, I think when you uh, have that stuck on your rack without luggage on, it acts a bit like a wind on the cr uh, a wing on the uh, crosswinds because uh, going down this last valley uh, uh, on my way home, uh, it got a really heavy sort of uh, crosswind from this side. I can feel it sort of destabilizes the scooter a little bit. And my suspicions are that it's um, that it's the uh, luggage uh, thing by itself without any luggage on. Because when you've got luggage on, you've got a little bit more weight on your ass. And uh, I think that's just sort of making the scooter feel a little bit uneasy. So that's something. That's an observation. It's not really my fault though. If uh, these lads didn't break down, we wouldn't have the van and I'd have to have my luggage on my scooter. <laughs> Famous last words. Only 20 k to go. Alright, I'll see you again. Turn up.